Hey guys, here's our 2006 BMW 550i. So this car features a 4.8 liter V8, which is uh, 360 brake horsepower and 360 pound-foot torque. And it has 17 inch alloys, which you can see down there below. Um, the 5 Series has always been more of a, a highway cruising vehicle, still very nimble um, due to a, a very special uh, type of steering system and package on this car um, called the Dynamic Handling Package. And what that encompasses is, uh, is two parts. One is active steering. So what happens is the, the steering ratios are variable um, roughly between a 10 to 1 to 18 to 1. Um, so when you're at low speeds in a parking lot, the 10 and 2 positions, just steering it to that, would give you a U-turn, basically you just kind of zip it right around the parking lots. Reverses that system at high speed, so it goes to the 18 to 1 ratio, which again, 10 and 2 positions gives you really refined adjustment coming out of corners. Also, most steering wheels are about 2.5 turns lock to lock, uh, left to right. This is only 1.5. So you're going to find the handling on this 5 Series much more, um, I say the characteristics of a 3 Series, very nimble, um, and yet with the, uh, with the 17 inch all season tires, not the 18s that are a little profile, and then just the chassis in the 5 Series, um, it, it'll be more of a highway cruiser. Very soft and smooth and comfortable, but definitely with an increased uh, element of performance to it. Um, the second part of that dynamic handling package is dynamic drive. What that essentially is is a, is a torsion bar in the front end that uh, will usually dictate how stiff the suspension is and uh, it electronically will stiffen when you put the car into a corner. So you kind of have that soft, smooth, kind of floaty suspension uh, when you're cruising on the highway, when you want it to absorb the road, uh, and then when you dive it into a corner, that torsion bar will, uh, will become instantly uh, stiff and will give the, the suspension very rigid uh, feeling so it has literally no body roll uh, when you're coming out of the corners. So it's, uh, it really is a performance machine. Uh, very sharp lines to it. This is the first year of the 550. Uh, previous to this it was the 545 with 325 horsepower. So this is definitely more snap than the previous model. Um, headlights from front, you can see that they have the glowing corona rings on each side and uh, they are xenon, so high beam and low beam. That illuminated uh, eyebrow across in the front gives it a very aggressive look at nighttime. Headlight washers down below and fog lights below that. And uh, that means you can talk about the headlights for quite a while. It's a, it's a polycarbonate headlight cover. It's the same material they make bulletproof glass out of. It also has uh, an auto leveling system that will move them up and down with heavier weight in the back of the vehicle. Uh, not so important for you, but uh, for different traffic, say in front of you, this eliminates so what's called bump flash. Uh, the times where you'd say the person in the rearview mirror goes over a set of train tracks and you can see it looks like they're flashing their brights at you. Uh, it, it doesn't actually take place on the 5 Series. Also, they are uh, adaptive headlights, so they steer 15 degrees to the right and 8 degrees to the left. Uh, only 8 degrees because of oncoming traffic, so they're always positioned, so they're illuminating the area you're turning into. That's just the information on the headlights, <laughs> so you can imagine how technical the car can, can become if you, uh, if you chose to get right into it. The, uh, the 5 Series are all built in one place in Germany. They have one plant building the world supply of these cars. Uh, great for quality control. Uh, the seats are a comfort seating package, so you can see the curvature that you have in the base of the seat. Uh, this is our most comfortable seat offered. You'll see the, the adjustments here on the dial, which is all memory coded to your laser cut keys. This length extension in the front wheel motorized forward. Comes right underneath your leg, is really comfortable for the lower thigh. Um, this button right here will adjust your seat width. You'll see the sides. See that venting in and back out there? So it really hugs you on the siding. Uh, threes position lumbar support in the backing. The seat actually flexes halfway up. Just see that relaxed back right there. You have a high adjustable headrest that moves up and down. And in the actual back of the headrest, you also have these wrap rounds on each side. Good for sleeping. Not for the driver, passenger, of course, but yeah. <laughs> steering wheel is power telescopic, so down and up and in and out. It's the heated steering wheel right here. Uh, audio controls on the left right here with uh, voice command and uh, voice uh, activation. Oh, this is for your Bluetooth cell phone connection, which is standard on 2006s. And then a couple of multi-use buttons over there. This is your main iDrive controller with it in 2006 became leather padded on top. Hit the menu button and you'll see you go right back to the main menu there. So climate on the left and really easy to adjust these. You can go through everything from say parked car operation or even heated seat distribution. So things like on the driver's or passenger side, you can adjust how much of the heat you want to go to each side of the seat on the base. 
And really this iDrive is just to get the car kind of set up the way you want it to react off the start. And after that it's just a matter of, you know, changing radio stations on the front of the steering wheel here with the dials. Climate controls or digital dual zone right there. So everything's very, very easy to operate and use. So everything you need is at a finger's touch while you're driving it there. Has the uh, programmable garage door openers right there. Of course, sunroof up above. That's the main dial right there. Yeah. And this is the uh, black uh, Dakota leather interior with the Brill walnut trim. Really complements the uh, the vehicle. So from the back, the trunk releases all power. So you can just press the one button; it'll open all the way up. You can see you have a quite a deep area in the back there, very open on the sides of the mouth right here, and those arms that go up with the trunk lid is actually formed right in the siding here. So uh, no situations where you load up the trunk and then you find that you can't close the close it, uh, the lid down. 60-40 split folding receipts, 40% on the right and 60% on the left with the ski bag in the center. And for the back seat, you can see right there. Heated rear seats with dual outlets as well as climate controls, so back seat is as uh, comfortable as the front. And this is where you get the extra size. The 5 Series, when you look at this model, uh, definitely more width and length than the overall dimensions of the car, but the back seat will have a lot more height and leg room as well. And I've, I'm about 6'2", and this seat is, is back probably more than I would usually sit at it, so you can see there's still ample room there for, for people in the pack. Five people would fit comfortably, so give you a look from the side and the rear here. So you have park distance control sensors, the intermittent beeping that you'll see uh, on the front and rear bumpers. And also uh, we have uh, the acoustic sounds but also the visual display on that iDrive showing you hot and cold zones. Uh, maybe a little hard to see from the, the video camera but this car does also have Scotch Cal if you can see that thin line right there. Um, it's a thin plastic taping across on the front of the hood of the vehicle and the quarter panels right here and then on the rear bumper and the mirror caps so it really does give it protection against stone chips that front end really does look like new and this car was also retailed from our dealership from brand new um, so the servicing has been uh, you know of western canadian uh, uh, origin so if you have any questions give me a shout that's my uh, seven and a half minute review of our 2006 550 so talk to you then